2023 was the year that I finally fell in love with my home and much of that is due to the things that I picked up in 2023. So these are 23 of my best purchases in 2023. The items are from Amazon, Target, Walmart, random places, but these items had made my house feel like a home and I'm so happy and I'm going to share them all with you in today's video. First, we're going to start with lighting and technology simply because that is how I've organized the list. The best thing, it's actually going to be number one, the best thing I bought in 2023 was the Echo Show 15. So I am I'm afraid of robots. I'm afraid of aliens. I'm afraid of all things like that. So I was very, very, very hesitant to fill my home full of Alexas and stuff like that. I'm going to be honest. You've just learned something really stupid about me. But the Echo Show 15 is such a game changer because it's like a mini frame TV. So the frame TV is ridiculously expensive. That was one of my best buys of 2022, hands down. But if you want to look for less, if you want to make a mini gallery wall, if you have a small space, if you want to watch TV in your kitchen or your bathroom, the Echo Show 15 is a way to do it because it looks like a picture frame and you can upload your photos. You can upload prints from Etsy. You can use their art mode to get the art look for less. And I love that I'm able to pull up recipes, um, have a timer, watch TV, watch the news, do whatever on on this device while I am still cooking. And literally, I will watch TV while I'm in the shower, thanks to this device. And like, yes, that's extra. But 2023 was a year of self-care. It was weight loss, self-care, skincare, and part of my self-care was watching TV in the shower. So that is what it is. The next buy was this five tier chandelier. So I finally finished my bedroom in 2023. And a huge part of that was lighting because I painted the room dark as hell. I said, hey, my room looks like a cave already. I can't fix it. So you know what? Let's lean into it. So I picked up this five tier chandelier from Amazon of all places. And it's amazing. It's dimmable. It has 491 crystals and it just screams luxury. It comes in so many different colors, but I have been beyond happy with this because it just gives the perfect, perfect glow. I also paired it with these sconces and I'm, I've been on this kick at the end of this year of buying things with absolutely no reviews. So that's what I did with these sconces. They're hard wide sconces and they look very similar to like the Kelly Wurstler alabaster sconces. And they've been amazing because I always found that when I was getting ready for bed, um, I'd have to like get up and turn the lights off. Right. And that's like a whole, that, that that wakes you up. So I love that like I have these sconces right here. They don't take up any space on my nightstand. I get a really nice glow. They look super sophisticated and luxe, but I'm able to like turn them on and off just by like touching a button on my nightstand. I think that is so incredibly amazing. I also swapped my task lamps out this year. I've had the same Obrite task lamps forever since I've been on YouTube and I still love them, but the brand came out with the Cedric task lamp and I think it looks so much more sleek and sophisticated. I will say it's not as adjustable as the other one. So it's sitting here right behind me right now, but it's not as adjustable in terms of lighting though it is adjustable in terms of height, but I just love how it frames out my living room a little bit more and looks, uh, there's just more detail in it. And I think that looks a lot more sophisticated and sophistication is something that I wanna exude from my home because it just makes me feel good. Nobody comes in here, so it has nothing to do with what other people think. I think just for me, if my house looks like really nice and rigid and put together, I feel nice and rigid and put together. And that's what I need to be successful. The next purchase is lighting adjacent, but it was this candelabra from Crate and Barrel. So I saw this and I had to have it. I begged and begged and begged the salesperson to sell me the floor model. She said no, which is so fair. Like that's her job. But I did call every store in like the tri-state area trying to acquire one. Unfortunately, the Crate and Barrel in Washington, DC did send it to me and I was able to get it before the interior intended date of December 17th was when I was supposed to get it. And this was in like September. So did I need it urgently? No. Did I need it generally? No, but it made me so happy. It is a candelabra that rotates. I just think it is so fun. It is the perfect kind of like staple for my dining table. I use LED like flameless candles with it and I just love it. It's so dreamy. It's the perfect centerpiece. I've never had a centerpiece that I really love because most of them take up too much space, but this is nice and linear or can take up a lot of space depending upon what I want to do. And it's just kind of a statement piece that everyone is always like, wow, when they see it. And I love that because I feel like, wow, when I see it. I also picked a fire pit this year. I <laughs> I don't know what's with this fire pit craze, but I'm here for it. So first I got the small fire pits. They sit on my dining table along with this candelabra and I'm here for it. Like whenever I'm cold, when I'm working, I'll turn on the fire pit and I feel like I'm like at summer camp again. And I also got the big fire pit, which sits in the bedroom. These things just like obviously heat up spaces really well. They're just like giant candles, right? They heat up spaces really well um, in a way that my house with really tall ceilings does not otherwise accomplish. Even when I turn the heat on, it looks good and it's serving a purpose, which I truly appreciate. And so does my wallet. I just love the way it looks. I'm always like, ooh, ah, fire. 
And again, this one is like lighting adjacent. It's fire pit and lighting adjacent, but I got this electric heater. I got it on Black Friday because I'm always cold. So I got this heater and it looks like a fire because I've always wanted like a fireplace in our house, but it just really doesn't make sense with like the desired layout of the space. We're not gonna live here forever. I wasn't gonna have like a whole fireplace installed. And also like, how could I live in a condo without it just being electric one? Anyway, all that to say, I found this electric one and I think it's so cute. It really makes me feel like, again, I'm at summer camp. I went to Camp Onaway. Um, if there are any Anna babes here, like, hello, nice to see you. It was like an all girl summer camp and it was amazing. And I love that for me. And it was like seven weeks every summer. Anyway, nostalgic. I love it. The dog also really loves it. And it has so many different settings and it, it, it just elevated my life. It was a stupid purchase. And again, on my journey of trying things with absolutely no reviews, I bought the chair that I'm sitting in right now on Amazon. It was like 168 bucks when I bought it. It keeps going in and out of stock. So I don't know if I'll be able to link it, but I saw this chair and I was like, people are going to love this chair. Chairs like these are like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars so I ordered it and it turned out to be like the most sturdy like solid wood chair ever and it's so comfortable and it's like the, it's like my working chair like I'll sit here and edit and like film and everything because it's so comfortable so I love that like I took a leap of faith on something and it was it was a great ROI just like because it's so comfortable and it's not even really my style I mostly ordered it because like the style was trending I wanted to try it out but like now I'm keeping it because it's just so damn comfortable I love when things like that happen I love being able to prove to myself also that cheap stuff can be good because people are always, like people like villainize cheap stuff and sometimes cheap is just plain good I also picked up a new cookware this year so I actually have loved my caraway cookware I also love my beautiful cookware from Walmart like I use that Dutch oven every single day because I'm always making something with a Dutch oven but I picked up this Kuroot cookware as well and this is so great for boiling stuff in particular so my my Dutch oven is great for like soups for like boiling potatoes or anything I love this Kuroot cookware because it's super lightweight a Dutch oven is heavy like the caraway cookware is great for like if you're like pan frying something making stir fry whatever but these are so lightweight they're perfect for like heavy stuff especially like if there's I have bad arthritis and I just love that I can I can be in the kitchen by myself there's nothing quite like me trying to like strain something and I can barely lift it and I'm like Bleep! it really feels like the end of the world so with this cookware that doesn't happen and it's so space saving because everything st stacks inside of one another and you have the cute little handles I just love it I bought it on a whim it is on sale like I cannot resist a 70% off sale and I'm glad that I didn't because I love this cookware now these three sets are really ingrained in my life now I don't have a link for this but something I've started using a lot more in 2023 is incense simply because candles are expensive and finding good candles is super hard that brand and agape candles I can't really find candles that are worth every penny to me so I've been using incense it really fills up the space more I really like the Egyptian musk and myrrh those are my my favorite scents when it comes to incense I just think it fills the house with something that is so endearing so warm I'm glad I started purchasing it because you can really get incense for a couple of dollars and it really takes you a long way another thing I purchased was an extra large cookie sheet so um Target has this new brand I want to say it's called figment fig newton it's definitely figment it's not fig newton that is a type of cookie but I picked up one of the extra large cookie sheets. I bake when I'm not making soup in my Dutch oven or something like that. I am baking, like I'm really into like those English potato roasties. Let me know if you've seen that trending on Instagram and TikTok. But I roast everything like from my veggies to my chicken, whatever. And I love having this big mega cookie sheet. I think it was like $11, which is more than I'd like to spend on a cookie sheet, but it's so great. Now I wanna talk a little bit about bedding. Of course, I picked up the Super King Duvet this year. It was something I found on a whim and I really love it. I so, I found this one on Amazon. You've probably heard the hack that if you double stuff a duvet, it looks more fluffy. But when you double stuff a duvet, it's really, really hot because you're putting two duvets in there. So if you're able to size up, um, you get the fluffy look, but you can't normally size up for King. But the Super King is the way you can do that. So you just put the Super King and a King um, duvet cover and it gets the job done. I love it. You have a little bit more bedding to work with. It's so fluffy and I, I really am sleeping better. Another item that's been a huge part of that is this mattress topper. I think it's out of stock, but I have to share it with you, right? I'm just, this is more of like a rundown. Now, this is not even like a shopping video. I'm just telling you my best buys. This mattress topper, I thought I wanted down and I was wrong. This mattress topper is it. Like I take care of this mattress topper better than I take care of like my skin. And I have pretty bad acne because that's how much I love it and it's been out of stock and I, I never want to part with it. It's so fluffy. It's so nice. It doesn't suck in any moisture or scent or anything. It just, it, it's that scene from Despicable Me. 
it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. That's how I feel, I love it. Now, I couldn't bring myself to buy the Four Seasons duvet because I also wanted the sheets and the duvet, duvet cover and all that, and I knew it was gonna spiral into something that I couldn't handle, but I did get sucked into the Pottery Barn website, which happens once a year without doubt. And I did buy this waffle duvet cover and I'm having, I, I put it on the list and then it made me so itchy today that I like had to take a midday shower. So I don't know if maybe it's the detergent I washed it with or maybe it's the wear on it. So we'll see, but I'm still putting it in here. But this waffle duvet cover just looks like money. It looks like money. Pottery Bard makes the best bedding on the market. Like I love other brands. I endorse different brands. Like I give it my KB stamp of approval, but Pottery Bard makes the best bedding on the market in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion but it's expensive as hell. This waffle duvet just looks like money. It looks good, it feels good besides what's going on today, but it seems like it's a psoriasis issue and not a pottery run issue. But I bought it in this chocolate cover. It's the only chocolate also I've ever been able to find on the market. Most of the time it's like a brown um, and I want chocolate. I want Hershey's dark. I don't want Hershey's milk. Do you know what I mean? And it gives that. So. It was, it was worth every penny. It was on sale when I bought it, but like sale is so relative when it comes to like prices like this, but it, it was definitely worth it for me. I also bought really, really cheap pillows this year. I spent a lot of money on bedding, but I also spent very little money on bedding. I got these cheap pillows. It was like a set of two for 35 bucks. They have been out of stock since I talked about them the first time. They're so freaking good, they're so good. So an alternative is a Marlowe pillow. You can get them from Brooklyn and I've talked about them before, but my brother-in-law came into my house and he stole my pillows. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? But you know, I'm a nice person, I'll let them keep them. So these are like an alternative, they're an adjustable pillow um, and you can take the cotton in and out and it just, it, it's perfect for me. It's perfect for me, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I sleep like a baby and I sleep on my back, my side, upside down. I'm like walking on the ceiling in my sleep and this pillow works no matter how I'm like kind of laying about and I really appreciate that. I also bought more jersey sheets this year. Again, I'm not gonna do the rant. It feels like underpants, it feels like good durable underpants. It feels like a pair of underpants you could keep from five years. I don't know how often you're supposed to change your underpants. I know how much how often you're supposed to change your underpants. I don't know how often you were supposed to buy new underpants. Um, but anyway, these are durable. They're soft, they have a lot of stretch and they're deep pocket and I love them. They're Amazon basics, but the Calvin Klein version is also very good, but I really can't justify spending that much for like underwear, you know, that's how it feels. So this is the last bedding item, but I got these curly little pillow covers really recently I hate that they only come in like the 12 by 20 but they're so cute they're so cute um that's really what I can say the dog looked at me because he was like you're talking about me because that's how I speak to him I speak to him like that all day long but they're like these cute little curly wool pillow cover they look like something you get from a Soho home but I got them from Amazon home and they come in I think three or four different colors I got like the medium brown and it just like takes my like brown bedding situation to the next level I did like a lot of color drenching this year it's just like a trend that I'm really loving it's one that I'm hopping on it didn't really hop on that many trends last year um, but I love this trend and this is a way for me to really um, accomplish that really really affordably something else I spent a lot of money on were these faux branches I got these faux fig branches from Crate and Barrel but they were worth the money because I think they work for all seasons besides summer I have them on top uh, you're probably seeing them on top of my kitchen cabinets I love them they look super realistic I get compliments on them all the time and you only need two branches to really make a pop I only bought two they're like I think they're like $50 a piece at the time so uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how expensive they are i i could just make the sound bleh. they are stupid expensive but i love them um and they were worth every penny i also got this this year and i haven't spoken about it much but i was in crate and barrel buying the fig branches believe it or not and i saw the sale section and sometimes they have sale items from cb2 and i saw this hammered mirror that i've always wanted but didn't want to pay full price for so i think it was like 50 percent off because there was like a little dent in it or scratch in it i don't care about that i'm gonna scratch it no matter what so i'll take it home scratch um i love the hammered look to it it's a great way to like look at yourself before you leave the house because the frequency with which i leave the house with kate somerville still on my face is saddening so I love that I can give myself a good glance plus it looks cute and it really works with my gold theme in addition to these hammered mirrors I also found these mirrors that look just like the thaddeus mirrors from restoration hardware but they're around 400 bucks which is still a lot of money but they're not $3,500 and I've wanted these mirrors forever for the bathroom when I started the bathroom renovation I wanted these mirrors but I just I really couldn't afford to pay for that right because I that's just a lot of money so I settled for something else which I like but I think this just makes the bathroom come together it looks so much more high-end it really looks like uniform 
form and well designed and it really was a way for me to get the luxe look for less and they are so heavy and well made I've never been more impressed with like an item again that didn't have any reviews next I'm just going to talk about like two beauty-ish items so I picked up the diamond dazzle stick this year thanks to Shea Whitney Shea Whitney is like my favorite youtuber she's the favorite youtuber of the household like if I post a new video and Shea posts a new video babe is going to watch Shea's video first like and me too <laughs> So she introduced me to the Diamond Dazzle Stick and it really cleans your jewelry super well. You guys know I'm always doing a project. I'm always making a mess. And so it's really hard to wear my jewelry for that reason, you know, and this can just get into every crevice, get your jewelry really nice and clean. And it has blown me away. I also picked up the Clean Skin Club face towels. You guys know I'm on a no makeup journey and it's, it's coming along. It's not going perfectly. I'll be honest. My skin isn't perfect. Like I like really wanted it to be by the end of 2023 and that's okay. You know, life happened, whatever. So this has helped me keep my skin really nice and clean because it turns out my face just gets disgustingly dirty throughout the day, even though I literally just sit at my computer. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm touching my face, but this really helps me get all the gunk and debris off that I wasn't getting off before. Um, and I never thought I'd be someone who would use like a single use towel because it just feels like when anyone uses too many paper towels, like I'm like, you gotta go on the naughty list. Like Santa is not gonna be a fan of you. But I use them to clean up other things afterwards. So they're not really single use, they're just single use for my face. But I think it really has helped improve my acne. So it was definitely one of my top purchases of 2023. But that's it for today's video. Those are my top purchases of 2023. Many of them were from Amazon. Many of them also were not. I think I bought some great things. I feel really content and happy in my home and that's not something I've really ever felt before. So I stand behind all my purchases even if my bank account does not. Let me know what was your favorite purchase of 2023? Are you going to pick up any of the items on this list? Let me know down in the comments. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.